This sound file contains the spoken version of a Wikipedia article on Vectrex recorded by user Afrocats. The material recorded is current as on the 28th of May, 2011. Vectrex from Wikipedia, the free encyclopedia, at en.wikipedia.org. The Vectrex is a vector display based video game console that was developed by Western Technologies Smith Engineering. It was licensed and distributed first by General Consumer Electric, GCE, and then by Milton Bradley Company after their purchase of GCE. It was released in November 1982 at a retail price of $199, $440 compensated for inflation. As Milton Bradley took over international marketing, the price dropped to $150 and then $100 shortly before the video game crash of 1983. The Vectrex exited the market in early 1984. Unlike other non-portable video game consoles, which connected to televisions and rendered raster graphics, the Vectrex has an integrated vector monitor which displays vector graphics. The monochrome Vectrex uses plastic screen overlays to generate color and various static graphics and decorations. At the time, many of the most popular arcade games used vector displays, and GCE was looking to set themselves apart from the pack by selling high-quality versions of games such as Space Wars and Armor Attack. Vectrex comes with a built-in game, the asteroids like Mindstorm. Two peripherals were also available for the Vectrex, a light pin and 3D imager. The Vectrex was also released in Japan under the name Bandai Vectrex Kosukusen. While it is a mainstay of disc-based console systems today, the Vectrex was part of the first generation of console systems to feature a boot screen, which also included the Atari 5200 and ColecoVision. There is a sidebar containing two images. It contains the following information. Manufacturer, Smith Engineering. Type, Video Game Console. Generation, Second Generation. Retail Availability. North America, November 1982. Europe, May 1983. Japan, June 1983. Media. ROM cartridge, CPU, Motorola MC68A09 at 1.5 MHz, controller input, 2. Contents. This article contains six main sections. They are as follows. 1. System features and innovations. 2. Technical specifications. 3. 3D imager. 4. See also. 5. References. And 6. External links. Section 1. System Features and Innovations The Vectrex was the first system to offer a 3D peripheral, the Vectrex 3D Imager, predating the Sega Master System Segascope 3D by about 4 years. Also, early units have a very audible buzzing from the built-in speaker that reacts to the graphics generated on screen. This is due to a lack of shielding between the built-in CRT and the speaker wiring and was eventually resolved in later production models. The idiosyncrasy has become a familiar characteristic of the machine. Several companies offered or included Vectrex software in their products or promotions. The liquor company Mr. Boston gave out a limited number of customized cartridges of Clean Sweep. The box had a Mr. Boston sticker on it. The overlay was basically the regular Clean Sweep overlay with the Mr. Boston name, logo, and copyright info running up either side. The game itself had custom text and the player controlled a top hat rather than a vacuum. Some of the Vectrex's games feature unusual qualities or innovations, and new games are still being produced today by homebrew video game programmers. The game built into the Vectrex, Mindstorm, would crash at level 13. However, on some machines, the game would continue much farther, with levels containing very unusual characteristics. 
the game would come to an ultimate end at its highest level, in which more mines were laid than would hatch. Consumers who complained to the company about the crash at the 13th level received a replacement cartridge in the mail. Entitled Mindstorm 2, it was the fixed version of the Vectrex's built-in game. However, not many wrote to the company about it due to no advertisement of any sort, making Mindstorm 2 one of the rarest cartridges for the Vectrex system. The Vectrex was not a commercial success, due in part to its release just prior to the North American video game crash of 1983. However, it retains a small, devoted fan base, and industry critics have speculated that it would have been more successful had it been released at a different time. In addition, critics have praised the system's durability, the design of its controllers, and its library of games. Section 2. Technical Specifications Subsection 2.1. Circuit Board CPU, Motorola 68A09 at 1.5 MHz RAM, 1 KB, 2 4-bit 2114 chips ROM, 8 KB, 1 8-bit 2363 chip Subsection 2.2 Sound Sound, General Instrument AY, 3-8912 3-inch electrodynamic paper cone speaker. Subsection 2.3 Display The cathode ray tube is a Samsung model 240RB40 monochrome unit measuring 9 by 11 inches, displaying a picture of 240 millimeters diagonal. It is an off-the-shelf picture tube manufactured for small black and white television sets. A vector CRT display such as the one in the Vectrex does not require a special tube and differs from the standard raster-based television sets only in the control circuits. Rather than use sawtooth waves to direct the internal electron beam in a raster pattern, digital to analog converters drive the horizontal and vertical deflection electromagnets. Those deflection electromagnets are wound on a standard yoke used in television sets and the high-voltage transformer is also an off-the-shelf TV component. This design was based on similar uses of existing television technology in arcade games such as Asteroids. Section 3. 3D Imager The 3D Imager spins a disc which is half black and half colored bands that radiate from the center, usually red, green, and blue, between the viewer's eyes and the Vectrex's screen. The Vectrex is synchronized to the rotation of the disc, or vice versa, and draws vectors corresponding to a particular color and or a particular eye. Therefore, only one eye will see the Vectrex screen and its associated images, or color, at any one time while the other will see nothing. A single object that does not lie on the plane of the monitor, i.e. in front of or into the monitor, is drawn at least twice to provide information for each eye. The distance between the duplicate images and whether the right eye image or the left eye image is drawn first will determine where the object will appear to be in 3D space. The 3D illusion is also enhanced by adjusting the brightness of the object, dimming objects in the background. Spinning the disc at a high enough speed will fool the viewer's eyes or brain into thinking that the multiple images it is seeing are two different views of the same object. This creates the impression of 3D and color. The same 3D effect is in fact possible with raster or film projection images and the shutter glasses used in some 3D theaters and virtual reality theme park rides work on the same principle. Section 4. See also. This section suggests some Wikipedia articles for reading. These articles are List of commercial failures in video gaming and list of Vectrex games. Section 5. References There are references available in the written form of this article. Please be sure to verify information found on Wikipedia using the references provided or by cross-referencing the information yourself. Section 6. External links in addition to the above, several external links have been listed for finding additional information online. Additionally, there is a link to Wikimedia Commons which has media related to the Vectrex. 
We now come to the end of the spoken article Vectrex. This sound file and all text in the article are licensed under the Creative Commons Attribution Sharealike 3.0 Unported License, available at http colon slash slash creativecommons.org slash licenses slash by dash sa slash 3.0.